in 2010. A man and his crew started a podcast on the internet, but they were distracted by real life for a challenge they couldn't commit to. This crew promptly escaped from real life to the, the internet. Today, still wanted by real life, they survive as podcasters of fortune. If you are bored, if nothing else can excite you, and if you can find them, maybe you can listen to Attack of the Awesome. Welcome to Attack of the Awesome Podcast. I think we should get into a rousing chorus of your new song, Susie. Would you like to start us off? What was that again? <laughs> All right, my my song. He's a man, he's a man. I'll start it off. He's a man, 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 he's a man, he's a fucking man. Yay. Yay. Yeah. I don't know why we started like that, but uh, I'm your host, Chris, followed as ever by Susie and Mike. How are you guys today? Not too bad, except I'm going to get swept away anytime soon by this torrential downpour. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. You're, you're covered in rain, we've got snow. Yeah. Hey, I win! <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're buried. Uh, yeah, big snowstorm. There's snow yeah, like, down in the, a couple of towns down from me where my brother and sister-in-law and my grandparents live as well. They've got snow and we've just got rain. <laughs> <laughs> we had a storm. The storm we had, I think, what did they say? It covered like 30 or something states. That was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. I heard about like, they that. They were snowing like fucking Texas. <laughs> 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 how bad this storm was. Yeah. Places there has never been snow before. Yeah. It was bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about the Oscar noms and uh, do our predictions. And uh, let's start with the obvious one and best picture. Uh, yeah. Our nominees are Black Swan, The Fighter, Inception, The Kids Are All Right, The King's Speech, 127 Hours, The Social Network, Toy Story 3, True Grit, and Winter's Bone. Susie, let's start with you. What do you think is going to win this one? Um, well, I've got two opinions on this. Only one <laughs> Ah, shut up. <laughs> I've... <laughs> I've got two winners. No, no, no. There's no silver and gold. This isn't the Olympics. <laughs> there's only... no, there's this is only... Highlander. There could be only one. <laughs> no, there, yeah, there's exactly. Always, there's always the one that you think everybody else is going to think, oh, that's the film that will win, and then it's something completely different. Um, so... For the sake of how many categories they're actually taken up in the Oscars, I would say The King's Speech will win Best Picture. I've seen the trailer for it. I still haven't uh, seen it yet, but I've been getting grave, uh, great rave reviews about it. Um, and that, I think that one will take the, the gong. But personally, I'd like Toy Story 3 to win because I've seen it and it's one of the best films ever. Okay, Mike, what about you? I totally think The Social Network should win Best Picture. It's, uh, actually, I saw it. it <laughs> it's a awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> I think this movie should win. Uh, <laughs> Why? Why did uh, <laughs> Explain! Honestly, <laughs> explain! Honestly, my, my predictions are going to be completely random with no explanation because I have not seen the movies, really. Oh, so it's really good that we're talking to you about this, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Boy, I can't think any of these. I don't watch movies. <laughs> Honestly, I did see Toy Story. I think, Mike, Mike, I think you should just pick Die Hard for all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Die Hard, because it's awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Best animated feature, Die Hard. <laughs> you could just pull a nostalgia credit and be like, "Fuck you, it's Die Hard." <laughs> Best director, Best die actor, hard. fuck you, it's Die Hard. <laughs> Best short film, Die Hard, the shorter one. Mike, 
<laughs> Mike, what are you talking about? Best actress can't be John McClane. <laughs> <laughs> if he put a wig on, he could. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. So I take it you you picked Toy Story 3 as well? Yeah. That's the most okay. Well, I think you're both wrong. I think the best uh the one I think should win, I think it should be uh the social network because I think it was really 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 good. Uh the King's Speech has been kind of uh the uh the one that everybody's been like say, "Oh, the King's Speech." I haven't seen it either and it looks really boring to me, and I'm probably going to catch a lot of flack for that. Like, no, it's not fucking boring at all. You're stupid. Like, no. <laughs> I, I think it, it looks like boring, boring, talky, talky, boring, boring. So, uh, and the social network was fun because it was talky, talky, but it was fast, talky, talky. <laughs> fasty, talky, talky, fasty, talky, fasty. Yeah, very, very fast, talky, talky. It was really good. Like, oh my god, they're speaking so fucking fast. Okay. It was great. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So all right, that's, you guys are for you guys are for Toy Story. I'm for the Social Network. Next up is actor in a leading role, and we have Javier Bardem from Beautiful, which is spelt wrong. Interesting. <laughs> Jeff Bridges from True Grit. Jesse Eisenberg from the Social Network. Colin Firth from The King's Speech, and James Franco from 127 Hours. And Mike, we'll start with you this time. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to go with it and just say Jesse Eisenberg for the social network. Do you have any reason why? Or <laughs> why that? Because. Uh, all right, he I, talks really fast. Do you want to go with that? Because he talks fast? Yes, I and mean, he's a good actor, too. I'll say that. What other movies have you seen him in other than Zombieland? Adventureland. Okay. Making sure. Okay. Susie, what about you? I have to go with uh, the British population and say Colin Firth. He's been in so many good things, um, particularly well, the first thing I saw him in was Pride and Prejudice when I was 17 or something, and yeah, 10 years ago, and I just think he's a phenomenal actor and he deserves a shot at it because he was robbed last year, absolutely robbed. Um, besides the fact Jeff Bridges was nominated last year, he got the Oscar, so fuck off, you, you don't need another one. You don't need it, Colin Firth needs it. So, give, okay. give the gong to Colin first. Well, now I feel bad, because I'm going to say Jeff Bridges. No, he got one already. You can't have two oh. in a row. No. But not. If you're that good of an actor that you get nominated twice, and you're in two good movies like that, and you deserve two good nomination performances, you get mm -hmm. two. Colin, for you, Colin Firth is a phenomenal actor. I definitely agree with you, but I still think he's got another couple of good movies in him where he can win something. Dre Jeff Bridges was awesome in this, uh, in True Grit, and yeah, Jeff Bridges. Yeah. Sorry, Colin. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, British fans of mine that I don't have, but <laughs> I gotta go with the dude. Go with the dude. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, Next up, actor in a supporting role. Our nominees are Christian Bale from The Fighter, John Hawks from Winter's Bone, Jeremy Renner from The Town, Mark Ruffalo from The Kids Are All Right, and Jeffrey Rush from The King's Speech. And you guys started, and I'm going to start this one. Okay. And uh, this one's a little tough for me because for me it's between um, it's between Jeffrey Rush and Christian Bale. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't really like Christian Bale, so I'm going to go with Jeffrey Rush. Mm -hmm. uh, in the King's Speech, because I really like Jeffrey Rush. I think, again, he's awesome in everything he's in, like Pirates movies, and uh, he was really good in uh, Les Miserables. Uh, and I think, uh, and I'm pretty sure he's pretty good here, too, so I think he's going to win this one. And uh, let's see, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mike, your turn. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know these people. What are movies? <laughs> What's a ruffalo? <laughs> Sounds like a really good chip. Uh, What's a ruffalo? He sells potato chips, right? I'm not that stupid. <laughs> Christian Bale. I'm going for it. Christian Bale. He's that man. Me are done professionally. Hey. I think it happened. 
You don't know what that's from. You guys, come on, nothing from that? You and me had done professionally? The Christian Bale freak out? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it took me a long time. You want me to smash your lights? <laughs> <laughs> I highly recommend you watch the Christian Bale out remix. It's really good. I've seen it. It's really good. No! Fuck! No! No! Fuck! No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, go. I'll go. Oh, sorry, Mike. Were you about to explain something? Nope, you just... Okay. <laughs> Susie? Well, I've got to go with um, who I th who I think should win, and it's got to be Jeffrey Rush, because, again, I think he's a really brilliant actor. Um, I said, I've not seen the King's Speech yet, but it's something I'm dying to go and see, and any guy that's been in Pirates of the Caribbean is awesome, so Jeffrey Rush. All right, now we get into the fun one. Actress in a leading role. We have Annette Benning from The Kids Are All Right, Nicole Kidman from Rabbit Hole, Jennifer Lawrence from Winter's Bone, Natalie Portman from Black Swan, and Michelle Williams from Blue Valentine. And Susie, we're going to start with you. Ooh. Um, now this is a difficult one because, again, I've not seen all of these movies. Black Swan I'm wanting to see. Um but I'd probably go with the majority of people that will see this girl will win it anyway, and it's Natalie Portman. Yeah. Yeah, I, I pretty much I pretty much agree. I'm going to go with Natalie Portman on this one. I have seen, I have seen Black Swan, and it is really good. It's, uh, and Natalie Portman was good. She definitely made up for how horrible she was in the Star Wars prequel movie. So, uh, yeah, Natalie Portman on this one. Mike, what about you? I just go with the majority and say Natalie Portman. Well, we all pretty much managed to say that we all picked Natalie Portman, so... Yeah. Because you had said she had another movie and it was bad, and I was just like, oh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Moving on with actress in a supporting role, our nominees are Amy Adams from The Fighter, Helena Bonham Carter from The King's Speech, Melissa Leo from The Fighter, uh, Haley Steinfeld from True Grit, and Jackie Weaver from Animal Kingdom. And... I'm going to start this one by saying I have no idea who these fucking people are. <laughs> oh, my God. What's wrong with uh, you? <laughs> I, I guess I'm going to go with Haley Steinfeld in True Grit because she was good. And I don't – I know Helen and Bottom Carter, but Animal Kingdom didn't see it. The Fighter didn't like it. And the King's Speech haven't seen it. Okay. So, Haley Steinfeld. <laughs> and uh, – Susie, you can go next. Um, well, I'd have to say, from personal taste, um, I'm not a big fan of Helena Bonham Carter, because, in my opinion, she appears in... Well, not in my opinion. She appears in every fucking Tim Burton film, and it just gets right up my nose, and it's just like, piss off! Go do your own franchise! Um, <laughs> well, so does John Depp. I know, but he's okay. He's... He's eye candy to look at. Hell in the bottom cards is just go away. Um, so I'd have to go with my. Maybe Hell in the Bottom Carter's eye candy for other people. Well, maybe. Um, so maybe Johnny Depp should fuck <laughs> off. Huh? <laughs> no. Um, I'd have to say Amy Adams, just because I liked her in Enchanted. Um, and I think she's a really good actress. And Julie and Julia she was in, and she deserved to get an award for that. So this one should be for her doing Julie and Julia. Well, it's not. It's a spider. I don't care. Oh, God, she was brilliant so in Julie and Julia. <laughs> yeah, she was, actually. I saw that. And by the way, where is Meryl Streep nominated? She's, she's not there. She's always in it. What was she in? I don't know. She's always in a film. Where's my Steve's <laughs> nomination? <laughs> well, the whole point is you have to kind of be in something. You kind of have to be in something to get nominated. She's not one of the best actresses in the world. <laughs> I'm so freaking good. Why am I not in this? You weren't in any movies. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> yeah, anyway, Mike. You don't care. You tell me you have something to say. <laughs> I like that. I guess you don't care. <laughs> you actually, I don't care if you skip me for these. I don't because I have no opinion, and uh, you guys are just give me flack for it. Okay. I will. <laughs> I will. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, so I guess if you don't have an opinion, we'll move on to the best animated feature film. Our nominees are How to Train Your Dragon, The Illusionist, and Toy Story 3. Uh, Susie, I don't really think we have to ask you, so uh, <laughs> why don't you just say it? Toy Story 3! <laughs> Mike? How to Train Your Dragon. No! Over Toy Story 3. Bye. Toy Story 3! <laughs> How to Train Your Dragon is a really good movie, actually. Toy Story oh, is it better than Toy Story 3? It's a masterpiece! Alright, I wouldn't say it's better than Toy Story 3. But... So why are you picking it? <laughs> hey, it's the... You know what? You're right. We are skipping you. Your opinions are silly. <laughs> He's being controversial. <laughs> you go. Yeah. I, I pick How to Train Your Dragon because it's better. How is it better? Well, I wouldn't say it's better. <laughs> <laughs> it's the underdog. No! It's a dog that's been shot in the street! <laughs> not how this shit works! <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine, I'll, I'll just go with the majority and say Toy Story 3 for you guys. Yay! What a great answer! <laughs> I picked Toy Story 3. Moving on. I bet this is how the... the the Academy Awards committee vote for all the movies. There's one person who says, I like this one. It's not better than that one. <laughs> you will like this movie! <laughs> I, don't, uh, I would hate I would hate to be on the Academy just where they have to pick these nominations just to, see, like, like, just to be the one guy who's like, oh, how about How to Train Your Dragon? Everyone's like, no, fuck you! No! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We like you Toy Story 3 for the tail heads. <laughs> We love the potato right, the heads. Next one. <laughs> the next one is Art Direction, and our nominees are Alice in Wonderland, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, Inception, The King's Speech, and True Grit. And I'm going to start this one and say Inception, uh, because the crazy things that they managed to do in that movie... Uh, now, I'm kind of of the stupid variety and don't know if art direction and crazy cinematics are the same thing, but uh, I'm going to say that they are and that the art in Inception was really, 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 really good. So, yeah, I go for Inception. I thought Alice in Wonderland, which would probably be the favorite because it looks funny, I, I thought it looked kind of stupid. So, uh, yeah, eat it, Tim Burton. <laughs> uh, Susie? Um, I'd have to go with a personal favorite of mine again and see Harry Potter. Just because it, it, it doesn't get any awards for, for acting or direction, which is a bit stupid, in my opinion. No, it's in direct. Um, <laughs> no, but, you know, best director and things like that. Um, so I'll just say Harry Potter, because it, <laughs> it, it does look amazing, what they've, what they've done uh, from reading okay. the book and everything. Yeah. So, Harry Potter. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you said something about the art direction, just like... I pick Harry Potter because it's not nominated for anything else. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't just say that. I'm glad you at least mentioned that it looks okay. It does. It looks Mike, really cool. Do you have anything? You really want to know? <laughs> oh, he's got a complex. He's going to be like Alice in Wonderland because it looks funny and Johnny Depp is white. <laughs> and Tim Burton is amazing when it comes to movies. Johnny Depp looks like a psycho clown rapist. I <laughs> like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> like, Seriously. You I'm, on, I'm on like this Oscar nomination thing where it tells me like what all the nominations are and this picture they got for Alice in Wonderland. Johnny Depp, seriously. Psycho clown rapist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I'm the killer clown from your nightmares. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, next category: cinematography. We have Black Swan, Inception, 
The King's Speech, The Social Network, and True Grit. And uh, I started the last one. Mike, we'll let you start this one. Uh, okay, I'll best cinematography. Let's go with Inception. <laughs> Why? Based on what I've seen, the cinematography is interesting to look at. Now define cinematography. <laughs> you fucking loophole. <laughs> the cinematography was interesting to look at. Cinematography is like... It's your turn, Susie. What do you think? Uh, Black Swan, Inception, The King's Speech, Social Network, or True Grit? Um, I'd probably say the majority would go with Black Swan. Because... Um, Basically, the focus of the film would be Natalie Portman, and from the trailers I've seen, it's it's pretty pretty much that. Um, and you'd have to have really good cinematography to get a, to show a ballet on screen. Okay. Do you know what cinematography is? Uh, couldn't give you a proper definition, oh. but. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleepy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a claim excuse. <laughs> I know. We have to sleep, too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I'm, I'm going to go with cinematography now. Now it's my turn. And I'm going to pick Inception, because cinematography is the act of making a film. Well, there you go. Okay. There you go. Now you guys know what cinematography is. <laughs> and Inception is really good. So Inception. <laughs> okay. C cinematography is actually the making of uh, lighting and camera choices. No, it's the act of making a film. So all of that is incorporated. According to Wikipedia. Media, it is the making of lightning. Which is filled out by people who can lie. <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia is a great source of information, sir. So it's the dictionary where I got my definition. <laughs> I win. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Okay, moving on then. Costume design. Alice in Wonderland. I am love. No. Are you gonna the King's Speech, <laughs> the Temps, True Grit, design. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the Academy, apparently. <laughs> I say we all just agree on Alice in Wonderland and move on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Directing: Black Swan, Darren Aronofsky, David O. Russell for The Fighter. Tom Hooper for the King's Speech, David Fincher for the Social Network, uh, the Cohen Brothers for True Grit. Hmm. I go David Fincher. David Fincher. I'll just say it as well. David Fincher. Good. Now we're just plowing through these. This is great. <laughs> Documentary feature. Have either of you? Have any of you seen any of these? Exit through the gift shop, Gasland, Inside Job, Rest Repo, Wasteland. Have any of you guys seen it? Nope. 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 I go kick Assia. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Kick Assia! <laughs> Documentary short subject. Killing in the name. Poster girl. Strangers no more. Sun come up. The warriors of... Quigang. <laughs> Quigang! <laughs> it's Q-I-U-G-A-N-G. Quigang. 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 It sounds like a sound effect. Quigang. 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 Sonic Quigang. boom. Quigang. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what it is. It sounds like a fight maneuver. If you shoot a guitar string at somebody. Quigang. Kaboom. Quigang. Quigang. It's like the clashing of swords. Like, I will fight you. Quick hang, quick hang, quick hang. Quick hang. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
another documentary. Let's go kick ass you again. And Yay. move on. Film editing, Black Swan, The Fighter, The King's Speech, 127 Hours, and The Social Network. I go Social Network. I'll see it, too. Social Network. Okay, good. Foreign language film, Beautiful, which is spelled wrong again, which is Mexico. Uh, Dog Tooth, which is Greece. In a Better World, Denmark. Incendies, Canada, and outside the law, whores Laloy. <laughs> I swear to God, that's what it said. What? Boy. It's Algerian. That's what it's called. It's from Algeria. It's called outside the law, and in parentheses, whores Laloy. <laughs> doesn't say that on Wikipedia. Is this one the I pick Horse Malloy. I think Horse Malloy is well for comment uh, for comment. Oh, <laughs> okay. Horse Malloy. Yeah. Horse Malloy. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's French and it's Horse Lalloy or something like that. Yeah, it's French. We like Horse Malloy. I, I like Horse Malloy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Best makeup. Barney's version, The Way Back, and The Wolfman. I've only heard of The Wolfman, but it sucks, so I'm going to go kick ass you again. Yay! It really good. Yay. Music, original score, How to Train Your Dragon, Inception, The King's Speech, 127 Hours, and The Social Network. Uh, i I got to go Hans Zimmer, Inception. Yeah, Hans yeah. Zimmer's really good. I see him, too. Okay, best original song. Coming Home from Country Song. I See the Light from Tangled. If I Rise from 127 Hours. And We Belong Together from Toy Story 3. Um, hmm. I'm going to go kick ass. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm going with that. <laughs> best, <laughs> best animated short, uh, Day and Night, which was the preview to uh, Toy Story 3. I remember that. Uh -huh. The Gruffalo. I've seen it. Let's Pollute. Sounds fun. The Lost Thing and Madagascar, Carnet de Voyage. Mm-hmm. I go day and night because it's the only one I've seen. Day and night. Oh, I I couldn't pick. So I've seen the Gruffalo. Um, and it's it's really really good. Um, and day and night was kind of strange. Um, I know. I thought it was so weird. I thought those little things were gay. No, it it was. And I don't mean that as like I don't mean that as like like a derogatory anything. I was just yeah. like, are they gay? <laughs> they were like. There was like one scene. I swear to God, they were humping, and I was watching the I was watching the movie with a friend of mine. We were in the drive, and it was on the big screen. I was like, "Is anybody watching this? <laughs> this doesn't uh, appear to be good for kids." It, it was. Creepy. It started off really good, and then it got up to that bit with the radio station and the the speech that they were listening to. I thought, "What the hell is happening?" <laughs> and then it just kind of switched around, and it's like the end. Okay. Right. So <laughs> that, I'll, I'll yeah. go against the odds and say The Gruffalo. So that's a really good story. It's like a full story in, in rhyme, and it's really good. I'll have to watch it later. All right, we're on to best live-action short film. The Confession, The Crush, God of Love, Wish 143, and Now Way Way. I'll say I go Now Way Way. I'll say Now Way Way. <laughs> no way, way. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. Don't care. No, <laughs> it just sounds like it's up there with Horse the Boy. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like the beginning of the line sleeps sleeps tonight. Like no way, way, no way, way, no way, way, no way, way. No way, 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 way,
Anyway. <laughs> that's a, that's gonna, oh, I swear to God, we're gonna, we would be terrible if the three of us were on the Academy. We're gonna go, now, way, way, quick ang, and Horace Lalloy. Because <laughs> <laughs> they sound funny. <laughs> I, I really hope Horace Lalloy wins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll make my day. Okay. <clears throat> Best sound editing. Inception, Toy Story 3, Tron Legacy, True Grit, and Unstoppable. And I'm going to go Tron Legacy on this one, Death Punk all the way. Yep. Even though that's nothing to do with sound editing, but I don't, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Toy Story 3! It can't win everything. It, yeah. Damn Tron it! Legacy. It will win the total with Legacy. the best live action. <laughs> sound mixing, Inception. The King's Speech, Salt, The Social Network, and True Grit. And since this is probably going to be the only time ever we'll ever see Salt on anything again, I'm just going to go Salt. <laughs> salt. Because it tastes yummy. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Salt makes things taste better. Let's go with Salt. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> Visual effects. This one's Inception, no doubt. But Alice in Wonderland... Harry Potter Part 1, Hereafter, Inception, and Iron Man 2. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll say Harry Potter. I, go I, ha I haven't seen Inception, Inception. but um, I'll say Sorry. Harry Potter. Oh. No. If you'd seen Inception, you'd go Inception. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I go Inception. All right, next up, Adapted Screenplay. 127 Hours, The Social Network, Toy Story 3, Excuse me, True Grit and Winter's Bone. I'm going to go uh, The Social Network on this one. Aaron Sorkin, all the way. <laughs> Toy Story 3. Okay. Social Network. You. <laughs> <laughs> Toy Story 3. Screw you! <laughs> <laughs> it will win everything! Oh, Pixar, we're finally the last world. one. We've made it to the last one. <laughs> Best original screenplay. Another Year, The Fighter, Inception, The Kids Are All Right, and The King's Speech. Go, go Inception. Okay. Go, we'll go, go in Inception. We'll go Inception. This movie Yay, better be damn Inception. good. <laughs> it is damn good. Go see it. <laughs> I think my brother just okay. E. Oh. <laughs> now that we've finished that nonsense, <laughs> we can finally move on to movie releases, like upcoming movies. We go from the movies that have already come out and that we've seen, or in our case, have seen, uh, uh, to movies that are coming out now. And there are four movies that we're going to talk about, whether or not we are going to see them, what our opinions on this particular movie are. And there are four. Two of them were released last Friday. And two of them are being released this Friday, but since Susie's weird and in the UK, she's got different ones. But we're going US. Sorry, Susie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> damn the majority. Uh, yep, damn majority. <laughs> Live with it. <laughs> so we're going to talk about the movies from last week. Uh, the first one being The Mechanic. Uh, anybody want to see this? Nope. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, I, I watched uh, Brad's review of it. I'm kind of interested in watching The Mechanic because it's a, a remake of the same name that started uh, in 1972 with Charles Bronson, so I kind of like remakes. Depends if they make it good. Most of Jason Statham's movies are the same to me. I mean, they're usually, it's just, oh, I'm British and I'm going to kill people, Ugh. And that's the whole movie. <laughs> yep, pretty much. That's Those are Jason Statham's movies. He doesn't impress me as much as he did. He used to, anyway. Uh, so I really had no interest in this movie. The only reason I keep hearing about it is because my dad's a mechanic, and he loves saying that, Oh, this movie's about me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's why he wants to, that, I swear to God, that's why he wants to see this movie. Hey, they made a movie about me. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> oh, that's good. And I told him, he got mad at me, too, because I said, Dad, if they made a movie about you, it'd be a guy sitting in a snowplow removing snow from Gillette Stadium. 
<laughs> Ooh! <laughs> that sounds like he my brother. He was not happy. He did not no. like that. But, uh, anyway, enough about the mechanic or the My Father movie. Uh, <laughs> we'll move on to The Right. Any of you guys interested in seeing this? Uh, no, I actually heard no. it. But Anthony Hopkins is in this one, and you gotta, gotta see, maybe, maybe see what he's doing. He's doing the same thing he's been doing for years, making, mugging the camera with creepy faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, he's, he's, he's essentially, he's playing this, he's, he's playing Hannibal Lecter if he was a priest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even. I just have to see the trailers to tell you that's exactly what he was doing. And if Hannibal Lecter was thirty years older than he was, and mugged the camera and was a priest, right? <laughs> okay, good one to miss. <laughs> don't miss it. Yeah. Next up, we've got the the movies that are coming out February fourth. <laughs> the first one is The Roommates. Any of you guys interested in seeing this? Uh, again, you. I'm just sitting here quietly in the corner. I haven't heard of any. Yeah, she, she's like, I don't know. Uh, oh, I hadn't heard about it until today, and I heard about it today, and it looks stupid. So I say no. Okay. Okay, you don't care about mine. Good day. <laughs> take it. All right, good. I take it you guys agree with me. So the next one is Sanctum, James Cameron's next movie. I do want to see this uh -huh. just because I want to see what James Cameron is up to. Mm -hmm, me too. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. So so impressed with Avatar. He's, this one's going to be out of this world, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got water, and water is purdy. <laughs> <laughs> Always a good reason to see a film. <laughs> Oh, it's got water. <laughs> Were you like that with Avatar? It came up, it's got blue aliens. That's pretty. <laughs> I like the water movies. My favorite movies of all time are Titanic, Cast Away, <laughs> Jaws. I'll even go see Water World. There's a lot of water in that movie. <laughs> Oh, wow. Come on, Larry the Cable Guy. Okay? <laughs> that is yeah. Southern yeah. Stereotyping. What are you doing? <laughs> that is redneck Southern Stereotyping there for your fellows. <laughs> Speaking of Larry the Cable Guy, one film I'm looking forward to seeing is Cars 2. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the first one. I love Pixar. You never seen a Disney sequel in your life? Toy Story? The only one that gets away with it ever is Toy Story. <laughs> okay. It's worth checking out. Oh, and if you talk and if you talk like this and are offended by what I just did, how do you have a computer? <laughs> <laughs> you might be a redneck. You might be a redneck. <laughs> uh, you can't talk like that. Larry the Cable Guy talks like that. Yeah, well... He can. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so those are the new movies, and it turns out we don't want to see any of them except for Sanctum because they're party. <laughs> uh, I think we can just skip what's going on on thatguyattheglasses.com. There's not really much going on. Doug released a new review. I wasn't impressed. No. It was okay. Mm -hmm. Not his best. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not his best. I would say, I would definitely say it's okay. And then that's about it. The Cameron's um, 2 review was brilliant the week before. That was brilliant. That was good, yes. I will give you Care Bears 2. Dark hard, but... <laughs> dark hard! hard. I'm out on it. <laughs> that was amazing. He slips and falls and hits his head. Best death to a villain ever. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like, seriously, imagine if imagine if other villains did that. It would be the greatest thing ever. Just oh villains my God. dying in horrible ways. Like, 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 imagine in, like, imagine in the Star Wars, like, Luke and Darth Vader are having their epic battle, and, it, like, Darth Vader slices those cords, and he trips over one and smashes his face. <laughs> and that's the end. <laughs> He goes, oopsie. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the uh, family guy. Yeah. Thinking about thinking about other movies like uh, oh, let's see, like uh, horrible ends to villains. This is fun. Like I'm having fun with this now. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like a crazy villain. Like um, what's a good movie with a good villain? Like oh, like imagine if those like horror movies like uh, like Freddy Krueger, like he accidentally like cuts himself with his own glove and just bleeds to death. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got, got, or in the Godzilla movies, Godzilla's crashing through a building and he hits the wrong electrical wire and he gets electric. <laughs> I smell series. I do too. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm trying to think of some other good ones here. Uh, let's see. Just thinking. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, That's a good one. Thinking and thinking. I'm thinking, yeah. Just give me a second here. I'm oh. trying to think of a good one. Okay, should we do some horroring? Oh, I, got, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got a good one. Okay. 300. 300, right? Xerxes, he's like climbing down like his human back ladder, and he trips and falls and breaks his neck. <laughs> <laughs> As he's making that overdramatic, I will kill any of my own little... Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, good. that's good that's a good one I like that one or in uh let's see uh X-Men X-Men yeah Magneto he's doing his all cool thing where he creates a magnetic field and he's flying up to the top of the Statue of Liberty but he lets go too early and he falls <laughs> <laughs> okay do one for uh, Sweeney Todd Sweeney Todd who would you for Sweeney Todd, like he's yeah. the actual villain, right? Uh huh. Like he's he's giving someone he's giving himself a shave and he nixes he nicks his face, it gets infected and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Slow and painful, I like it. Exactly. <laughs> Let me think of it. <laughs> I had another good one too, but I forgot it. Yes. So All right, well, on. well, uh, <laughs> well yeah, let's move on. Uh, I was go we were gonna do our our weekly whoring segment where we tell you what we've released, but since it's been pretty much at the same spot, I can summarize it right, right now. I've released a vlog, Susie's released a video, and Mike hasn't done anything. So with that, <laughs> let's move on. Oh no 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 no! I apologize, Mike. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No Mike. no no! Actually, Chris, filler videos the filler videos do not count. You doing a Donald Duck impression is <laughs> not something for. I watched that. <laughs> no, uh, that's all, I was gonna say that I've been uploading these interviews, and you know the Benza interview is gonna be up pretty soon. I'm, I'm uploading that right now. <laughs> good. Okay. So I say we should just move on to the most awesome, and uh, I'm gonna start with the game just just because uh, I really wasn't thinking very hard about this one, and I kind of had to think of something last minute, because I forgot what I was going to say. Oh! Uh, so not prepared? The most, no. I have the most awesome game of the week. Okay. And it is Sim Lemonade Millionaire. Okay. Yep. It's a game where you run a lemonade stand, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> the only reason it, the only reason I mentioned it at all is because I had for for my school I had to collect a hundred days worth of data from the game of in in game data like not not like a hundred actual days like hundred days in the game I had to collect data from all one hundred days so I've seen the I've seen that game for quite some time now and I got to get it out of my head. <laughs> so it's the most awesome game. Okay. Susie, do you have a movie? I do, actually. Um, no, th this isn't one, like, a new film that I've seen. This is one of my, my favorite films, like, ever. Um, and I was think trying to think of the, the most awesome movie, and I actually sat down and watched this yesterday because of the actual day it was yesterday, and it was Groundhog Dr. Day. Oh, no. It was Groundhog Day. <laughs> And 
I just freaking love that film. I could I could watch it for errors and errors on end. I just love Bill Murray. And yeah. I, I just think it's so funny, especially like the, the scene where he's uh, in the in talking to Andy McDell when she's saying, what the hell's wrong with you? And just said, I've been drowned, shot, committed suicide, fallen off a cliff, been bitten. Every- <laughs> it's just so funny. And he's trying to explain just like he's having the same day over and over and over. And you're just like, right. Which day would I have over? And it's it's just such a good movie. I felt nostal- feel nostalgic watching it. So Groundhog Day is the most awesome movie of the week. Yeah, I would have picked Fifth Element, but hey, that's just me. No. Mike, do you have a song? <laughs> what, what do you mean no? What do you mean no? no. Don't you no. even start with me. <laughs> Don't even. I swear to God. I'm watching that for the second time in my life on the weekend to do the review for the collaboration. So. Oh, no. you've only seen it once, and you're saying it's bad? How dare you! <laughs> I have photographic memory, though, and I can tell you it's shit. In- Last <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, boy. <laughs> I just you're don't start- like it. Oh, you don't, want, you don't want to start with me, Susie. Don't even start. I swear to God. <laughs> I, I heard it already. From, oh, it's the best movie ever! <laughs> yeah, don't start him. I heard it from him already when I told him that I kind of did not like it. Uh, I'll reserve so, uh, judgment for the weekend when I see it again. So last time I saw it was about 12 years ago, or whenever it was. I have a, the most awesome song of the week. Tell us! an actual song this time? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I wasn't, I'm not going to be crazy like last time, but this this song oh, yeah. takes me back to my high school years. This song was played everywhere. Everybody was using it in classes. Everybody was using it at, at, during the dances. And it's uh, Sandstorm by Darude. I love that song. Sa- Sandstorm is... <laughs> Sandstorm is like the ultimate party song. You hear it at every freaking party no matter where you are it's playing and it makes you want to dance crazy my dad you know what else is starting to play every single party is i've got a feeling by the black eyed peas oh god to get laid a lot of parties now that's everywhere kind of knows that now too that's a that's a good dance song like i gotta tell you like in the dances i've been to like my prom dance like the dance i went to at skills usa they were playing that, and I can tell everyone was going crazy. Like, oh, I got a feeling. Why am like everybody was loving that? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's a good song, but if you keep doing it over and over and over again, it's gonna get yeah. dull as hell. Yeah, but with Sandstorm, I can listen for days, months, and even decades without getting sick of it. <laughs> That's creepy. So we'll ask you the next decade if you're still listening to Sandstorm. You'll say, yeah, yeah baby! Yeah! yeah. 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 Creepy. <laughs> I got one for you. You got creepy 60-year-old Mike sitting on his board like... <laughs> 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 Sandstorm. Uh, when I went to uh, Skills USA, because I was like supposed to be a smart kid or something. Uh, have you guys ever heard of that? Have you guys ever heard of Skills USA? No. No, I haven't actually. So. Well, I, I went to a technical school, and if you're like a good technical school person, they'll let you go to Skills USA, mm-hmm. which is like technical school geniuses or, or something like that. I'm not a genius. I think I kind of cheated. I don't know. <laughs> I, I did something. I did. I, I must have like unknowingly bribed someone to let me go. <laughs> but it's basically like every state takes the like top like six or ten students in the state, and they go and compete in their field. And my field was graphic 
communications, which was awesome. <laughs> and there was like 10 of us just like all competing, doing horrible stuff. Like I had to design a cover for this tor- terrible band. <laughs> and then and then we danced. And well, I'm not even kidding. Okay. <laughs> it was like it was like a four hour competition where you did the competition stuff and then you danced for like five hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then you went back to the hotel and had pizza. <laughs> did drugs come into play? Out. It was the greatest weekend ever. No. No, it was a school thing. How the fuck did <laughs> It just looks like something you do when you're tripped out. <laughs> yeah, it, we it, did like, some fly like there. We're still we So <laughs> it was like the trippiest weekend for school nerds. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, the whole point I was getting to was they played Sandstorm like three times, and there was a bunch of people there because there was like so many different like trains that were there. It was a trade school thing, so there was, like, a bunch of different trades there. So you had, like, everybody from, like, six different districts of Massachusetts there, all in this giant freaking dance hall, and they play Sandstorm, and everybody's, like, jumping up and down like a freaking fool, pumping their fists in the air, because nobody knows dance moves anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody jumps up and down and pumps their fists. Oh, yeah. That dancing. Okay. Anyway. I- uh, yeah, I-, I agree with you. I love Sandstorm. Uh, the next most awesome is the most awesome forum reviewer, and unfortunately, I haven't been paying attention to the forums lately, <gasps> but no. I did manage, I, I did, no, oh, hey, hey, don't you dare make that noise, because I've been paying attention enough to get our most awesome forum reviewer, see, I saved myself, and the most awesome forum reviewer this week is going to go to the cartoon hero, Okay. Mm-hmm. because the review he did for the magic voyage was so incredibly funny i i, I literally had to pause the video because i was laughing so hard awesome. At, there was this one joke one joke he made i had to pause the video <laughs> where he was talking about how like the look the character case hey look out and then like you, you hear this faint like fucker the, and he's there like did he just say look out fucker <laughs> <laughs> And he plays it again, and it sounds like that. And then he goes, God, the things you hear as an adult watching a children's movie. And he goes to a clip of Secret of Nim 2, where Eric Idle is singing that song. And the whole and the line is Rubble Cities, and it sounds like he says, Rubble Cities! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and after hearing that, Rubber Cities, I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> I literally flatlined for like a second. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. So yeah, goes out to Cartoon Hero for just making me like almost cry. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. Alrighty then. <laughs> now I got the random question for you guys, and there were two I had in mind. I didn't know which one I wanted to go with more. And I was thinking we could do both, but unfortunately the Oscar nomination thing kind of took like 30 forevers. So uh, yeah. we're just going to go with this one. And it is, if you, if a movie were made about your life, and Susie, we're making a special uh, special uh, thing for you here. You can't pick the Truman Show. So if there were a movie <laughs> made about your life, who would direct it and who would start, who would play you? Oh, now the... Mike, we're going to start with you. Aww. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry, Susie. You'll still get a turn. Good. <laughs> okay. This is interesting, actually. Well, all right. I know. That's why I thought of it. Uh, shoot. Is there any... Uh, the, the actor who could, who could play me would either be Jack Black or Seth Rogen. Either one of those two would be amazing. I, I would have said John Candy. <laughs> oh, my... God, he's dead. <laughs> so, I was, he was still an actor. <laughs> I was originally gonna say, I didn't say they had to be alive. Oh, I guess I could <laughs> just. One of my original choice would have been Chris Farley would play me. Oh my freaking god! <laughs> <laughs> and who would direct it? Who who would direct that? Would be good. Ah, uh, um. Uh, 
just for shits and giggles, I would have to say Tim Burton. I want to. I want to. <laughs> you got the, you got the I, giggles I wanna, there. <laughs> I, I want to see how Tim Burton would make my life into a movie using Chris Farley playing me. Okay. All right. Interesting. Now, now here's where I make it fun. If I would have picked who could play you and who would direct. You. Uh, I I, don't, I wouldn't really know about a director. I would probably agree Tim Burton, but I would say you would be played by Edward Norton. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to know why? Why? Because you're a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Good okay. enough. S- Susie, Susie, what do you got? Um, for for actress to play me, uh, I've probably have to go with Anne Hathaway because one she can sing and so can I uh, two she's got really good comedic timing in, in anything she does really I, I love Anne Hathaway um, and I think she's just brilliant and I think she could do a good, do a good job with me because she's good at doing chronic ramblings in films and I do it all the time uh, <laughs> um, so Anne Hathaway um, and director I would I'd have to say Nora Ephron, just because I love um, her films, Let's Sleep This in Seattle, and You've Got Mail, and I'm just a big Nora Ephron fan, so that would be my choice. Okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> if there were an actor who could play me in the story of my life, <laughs> it would be <laughs> Johnny Depp. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let him finish. A couple reasons. Okay. A couple of reasons for this. Number one, women say he's sexy. They say the same thing about me. Two, I'm a pirate. <laughs> and three, he can be funny as a pirate. <laughs> okay. Now, who would direct this? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Who would, who would direct my movie? Don Bluth. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, would it be live action or animated? Animated. <laughs> okay. Okay, would you be a furry woodland creature with Johnny Depp as the voice? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, what furry, furry woodland... furry woodland mouse pirate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I've heard it all night. <clears throat> all right. Now, now that now that that's been said, anybody listening to this podcast right now, if you have the ability to make a T-shirt, please make me a T-shirt with a furry woodland mouse pirate on it and my name on the back. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> I will be internally grateful to you if you can do this for me. And do your next review in it. <laughs> I would. I, oh, I would wear it every review. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Please, can I have my furry woodland mouse pirate shirt? <laughs> You've seen that picture. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh... Okay. With with just a random song about how you long f- to be free and to see the world <laughs> and everything as a pirate. <laughs> I've never seen a Don Bluth movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would be a furry woodland mouse pirate in space. Are you kidding me? I'd be on the set of Titan AE. <laughs> <laughs> seen Titan AE, it would be just like that and I would be the furry woodland mouse pirate. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, be like a space pirate. <laughs> I would. be a space pirate and I'd have my own ship. <laughs> well, it would be called the Nerd Rage and I would drive it <laughs> in space. <laughs> okay, can we move on before I die? <laughs> yeah, uh... <coughs> I suppose. Okay, and, uh... 
with this, we are going to introduce a brand new segment uh, that Mike was kind enough to come up with for us, where he has found a couple of new weird news segments. Uh, it's a weird news segment where Mike finds weird news, and he basically brings them up, and we die. Uh, <laughs> basically uh, doing a very kind ripoff of Nash, but, hey, we don't fault him for it. What do you got for us, Mike? Uh, first, first article, the title says... <clears throat> Soda pot. California company creates canna cola. Okay. 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 The article reads, <clears throat> Coca Cola. Don't read the whole thing. We're kind of pressed for time. <laughs> I know. Coca Cola. Paraphrase. Paraphrase, if you would. Paraphrase. Uh, okay. Paraphrase. Do you, uh, par- you need me to know what that means? <laughs> yeah, I know. There's there's a new line of marijuana sodas. And they're known as the pot that refreshes. They're called yeah. canna cola, and then they contain 35 to 65 milligrams of THC, which is the main <laughs> ingredient of marijuana. My fucking oh my god! god. <laughs> oh god, how much how much trouble would I get in with Nash if I just said what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Copyright, uh, copyright. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> That is so utterly stupid. Oh, my God. They are going to cost 10 to $15 per bottle. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Yep. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. The Kona Cola family of best The fee is... for carrying pot is less than that. <laughs> no, the flavor You'd be is... better off just carrying the thing and getting a fine. <laughs> it costs you less. Now, the flavors are going to be a Dr. Pot? Pe- <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> yeah, I think... Pot, pot, and pot. I think the flavor is pot. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Dr. Pepper-like called Dr. Weed. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's not even creative. <laughs> the like lemon lime God. flavor. There's a lemon lime flavor known as sour diesel. Oh, that sounds like <laughs> gasoline. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a grape flavor called Grape Ape. I would have called it Grape Drink, but okay. <laughs> and the orange flavor is called Orange Kush. Again, not even creative. These people are no. obviously stones. Uh, God. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, what's uh, what, what could possibly top that? Yeah. Actually, I shouldn't... <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing that... Actually, the next one is about a new weird sport going on. It's called, it's called, <laughs> I was just thinking that! <laughs> this new sport that's been spawned is called Knockers. <laughs> I can guess. Is this, a, is this a game they play in Hooters? <laughs> yeah. Knockers! Play them, like, t-shirts. <laughs> No. Let you play them like bongo. Knockers. Knockers. Would you want to guess what two sports are mixed together to create this new game? Drumming and breasts. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Sport? I knew it. <laughs> uh, no, hold on. Let me take a guess at this. What two sports are combined in a game called Knockers? I'm going to say... Rex is going to be involved. Soccer and bird watching. <laughs> no. Knockers is a combination of billiards and bowling. The fuck? Oh, yes, I've seen that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where you hit jump bowling balls into the... Oh. <laughs> no, you know, what, you know what that game is called? It's called fucking human-sized pool. That's what it's called. <laughs> Yeah, it's... It's players... pool with big balls. That's what it is. <laughs> players don't hit the cue ball with a stick. They use their hands, and you don't use your eye to next to, to eye the shot. You walk around the table and pick your angles while walking on it. What? And uh, the game is played... It's so a... fucking retarded, right? Uh-huh. Stupid, sorry. The game is played on a 15-foot by 30-foot table with bowling ball-sized projectiles. Unlike projectiles, what the fuck? <laughs> you definitely stole that from the article. There's no. 
Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to shoot bowling balls out of a gun. <laughs> Like this is the size uh, of a like, gun Unlike pool, the players don't scratch if they move the cue ball before taking a shot. The rule in the game of knockers is that once you touch the cue ball, you have to keep at least one of your feet stationary like a pivot foot in basketball. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can right. see playing that sport. Another thing you'd have to have on you at all time is like a bottle of some serious ibuprofen because have you ever clanked bowling balls together? That's fucking loud and it's fucking yeah. annoying. Uh-huh. I would get a headache so fast in that game. Not only have you set it up like pool and there's eight of them, oh my god, I would murder someone. <laughs> I'd get so pissed. Uh, I'd just hear, Krang! I'd be... <laughs> <laughs> Remember Quigang? That's the sound bowling balls make. <laughs> Quigang! <laughs> yeah. You, you, and you, roll, you roll a bunch of them into each other. Quigang! <laughs> They're they're actually not gonna be they're gonna be special bowling balls. They're gonna be six pounds and made by poly God I can't say it. Polymerthing. God I can't even say it. Polymerthing? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. And it's polyurethane, I think, actually. Yeah, I don't think that's what I meant to say. <laughs> I suck at pronouncing stuff. <laughs> The demographics is going to be... You picked the perfect segment for you, where you have to <laughs> <I'm> the words. <laughs> the, de- the demographics, they said, would be age 21 to 35, particularly yeah. at... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, can, I, can definitely, I can definitely see me going up to my buddies, hey, you guys want to play knockers? And they're like, yeah! And then I take them to a bowling alley, and they're like, dude, I thought we were going to Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're playing life-size pool. <laughs> Dude, I hate you. A girl, a girl can say, "Hey, look at my knockers," and can get away with it. <laughs> so it says no, a girl can say, "Look at my knockers," and get away with it already. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on who she says it to. Uh huh. She says it to a cop. She's not getting away with it. It's like I'm at pool. I don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's. That's what I pretty much found that would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's a top pot soda, but... No, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's let's give Brad some of those pot sodas. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see the commercial <laughs> for Dr. I'd like to see the commercial for Dr. Weed with the, what's the worst <laughs> that could happen? Pretty much anything. <laughs> no, the commercial for Dr. Weed, it would still have... Uh, they would still use Dr. Dre. Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, those they could pretty much they could pretty much roll out the same commercials for Dr. Weed as Dr. Pepper because they'd have they could use Gene Simmons and Dr. Dre all over again. <laughs> no, actually, on the bottle, Dr. Weed looks like uh, Dr. Uh, Doc Brown from Back to the Future. <laughs> Why? I found this interesting new substance. It's called pot soda. Hey, Scott! <laughs> exactly. It's got the white hair, and his eyes are just boogly out. Boogling? <laughs> Look, he's on pot, okay? Jeez. I'm just... He's bugging out? <laughs> bugging out. Fuck you. Boogling out. Oh, man. We've, uh, for our recap, we pretty much fucked up the Oscar noms. We <laughs> talked about new movies that we're not even interested in. We didn't whore out anything. Uh, our most awesome was kind of rushed. Our random question was good, though. And the weird news segment was, was about pot. <laughs> Here's our recap, folks. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought, I'm not going to do any closing thoughts. The closing thought is I can't believe we're letting this go on this long. Um, <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I can't believe we're going to let this go in the air. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to end up, we're going to get, like, uh, especially me, I'm gonna. I'm probably going to get, like, lynched tomorrow for making fun of Southerners. <laughs> <laughs> you just open your door. You don't no, lie, rednecks! No, no, I won't. Because anybody who talks like that does not own a computer, much <laughs> less knows how to work a GPS to come and find me. Oh, oh God. <laughs> 
You're just going to open your front door tomorrow and there's a guy with a banjo start standing there going, no, 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 no. Kill you! Yeah. Uh, open the door to a guy like that. I'm <laughs> man knows. Yeah, sure you are. Get out of here. <laughs> hey. Uh, actually, uh, I want to... I guess I'll take this time. I'm sorry, Southern people. If you talk, if you talk in that offensive voice that I use, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> oh, I do want to bring up one last thing before we end this. Uh, this coming Sunday is going to be Super Bowl Sunday for us Americans, and the two big teams are going to be the Packers or the Steelers. And the Steelers. You just wanted to bring that up because you live in Wisconsin. Exactly. And, and the Packers are in the Super Bowl this year, baby. It's been 13 years, but it's worth it. Okay. It's worth it. Go Packers! Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, you know, no, no. I'm rooting for the Packers, but no. No. <laughs> no. You're just lucky I hate the Steelers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Terrible towel. Oh, what kind of fucking stupid ass uh, fan shit is that? I mean, look at the other teams. I mean, the Packers fans, they got cheese. I mean, what's the big fan thing in, that the Pats have? They have like the they have the minute men that shoot guns whenever a score, whenever there's a score. The Raiders fans look like fucking weird pirates. <laughs> <laughs> you know. There's every fan, like Tampa Bay, like the Buccaneers, they have a fucking pirate ship in their goddamn stadium <laughs> that I would drive if I were a woodland creature pirate. But... <laughs> <laughs> it, shoots... it shoots fucking cannons whenever they score. The Vikings have a Viking horn when they score. What is it? What do the Pittsburgh Steelers have? Yeah, we wave this yellow towel around. Yay, we have dish rags. <laughs> That's how exciting our fucking game is. We want to make you do dishes. <laughs> okay. I swear to God, the Steelers are a team obsessed with cloth. <laughs> Burton, the terrible towel. Why don't you just call yourself the Pittsburgh Chores? <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Let's end it got nothing more to say. Yeah. Thanks for watching well, Attack of the Young. One last okay. thing. Um, what would your mouse pirate be called? Um, piratey? <laughs> you talk about other people I, being less creative in, uh, in naming stuff, and that's the best you can come up with. When did I ever say people were uncreative with naming segments? <laughs> when did I ever say that? <laughs> With the drinks. With I don't the know. His name would be fucking Russell. That's a pirate, <laughs> pirate name. Russell. Why does he have to have a weirdo fucking name? None of Don Blue's characters ever have weird names. Our Dave. Like, let's see. Let's see. What are the names of Don Blue's characters? Like, Fival? I don't want to be called fucking Fival the Space Pirate. No. <laughs> Timmy? Hell the fuck no. Charlie? Hale? No. Mrs. Brisby, hell no. <laughs> I think I can't be called Jack Sparrow. That name's taken. <laughs> I'd be Captain Russell the Mouse Pirate. <laughs> okay. Russell Blood Mouse. <laughs> I like that. Oh, blood. <laughs> Russell Mouse. No, I would be Russell Black Whiskers. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so please, 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 people listening to this, I really need a Russell Black Whiskers feature <laughs> space pirate shirt. I need one. I will wear it every show ever, I promise. <laughs> hey, t-shirt designers, contact Chris about that. <laughs> yes, please. I really want one now. It would make me happy. My birthday was a couple of days ago. It could be a really good birthday present, even though it was like a couple of weeks ago, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm It'd be a really... <laughs> so yeah, Russell Black Whiskers, ahoy, and goodbye from Attack of the Awesome. Thanks for listening. Yo! Bye-bye! Yeah. Peace out, sucker. You're
You're listening to the Attack of the Awesome Podcast with Chris, Mike, and Susie. Excellent! Hello. Hey, Good day to you all. Hey, Mike. Okay. So, what's what's the going to be the plan here? Who's going to do what? Uh, I'm going to yawn. <laughs> <laughs> Repeatedly? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, I was just, uh, just in the middle of watching what my next review is going to be, and it's terrible. <laughs> Always better. Always good. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Got to review the Emperor's New School. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never heard of that one. Yeah. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> Look it up <laughs> on YouTube. It's bad. Have you seen uh, The Emperor's New Groove? Yep. I kind of like that. Yeah. One of my favorite Disney movies. Oh, good God. Is the show bad? I've seen that um, Kronk's New Groove. I've seen trailers for that. I've never actually watched it, but that looks terrible as well. Also bad. It is. <laughs> It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's real bad. It's, it's bad. It sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. yeah, that's a good. That's a good way to put it. We apologize for that impression, ladies and gentlemen. I appear to have went through the Bermuda Triangle again. <laughs> we told you not to do this podcast on the plane, Susie. <laughs> well, I wanted to experiment, so sue me. Uh, let's see, it has, it's definitely best picture. <laughs> this guy needs some love. What the hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't mine. <laughs> what the hell? It's a Ritz commercial. <laughs> <laughs> that to me yesterday he was on ebay and then an advert popped up at the, at the side of what he was doing and he just said there's a dog licking my computer screen <laughs> <laughs> what the hell where did the dog come from it's, like, it's just an advert dad but the dog's licking the screen that <laughs> <laughs> it's not a real fucking dog but it's licking the screen <laughs> stop it <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> oh, anywho. I seem to have lost the agenda for today. Shit. Hold on. Oh. I'll bring it back up. It's still in the archives. Please do. <laughs> go back. Let's go back seven days. I can't run this shit without it. <laughs> uh, let me see where it is. Ah, here it is. Oh, dear. Copy and paste it. There's a lot nominated for uh, Best Picture. I know oh, yeah. It's, it's, are there ten of them? Are there ten? Yeah, let's see. No, no, no. Hell no. No, maybe. Uh, no. <laughs> shit, I've lost the pick. Ah, there we go. Da, 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 da. I can see... One of them. Definitely not the... I don't know. Toy Story I'd want to win. <laughs> But, Let's see, best actor? Oh, no, no. no. Uh, uh, uh. Call him first. Jesus Christ. I'm calling first to win. Uh, he just the eyes Nah, call him first deserves to win. Jesse Eisenberg. I have, I have, I'm still to see that. I'll still see the social network. I love it. It's great. Uh, what else? Actor in a... Yeah, I want to see oh, the King's God. Speech. Oh. Nah, I haven't seen that. It looks kind of boring. So does your face, man. <laughs> you haven't seen it. I know I'm going to. 
Yeah, you are. I'm going to Jesus. Oh. Pissing it down outside now. Great. Let's see. The agenda for today. The intro, the Oscar noms and predictions. New movie releases. That guy with the glasses. Horring. Most awesome. <laughs> random question. Oh, I got a good answer question. <laughs> <laughs> Horring. <laughs> Just reading out all normal. Da, 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 whoring! And then. <laughs> yeah, blah, 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 whores, blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sluts and hookers, that's an interesting one. You don't. I don't remember that getting there. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so we got the agenda. Just I gotta pull up the upcoming movie releases just to see what's coming out here. Me too. Uh, that would be The Roommate and Sanctum. That's it? Yeah, for tomorrow. Is that all you got? <laughs> Seriously? There's only two movies coming out tomorrow. We've got, like, what, came out last, what came out last Friday? Uh, the Mechanic and The, the Right. Alright, so we got four movies to talk about. That ain't bad. We've got uh, one, two, two, three, four, five that coming that? out this week. Or tomorrow, I should say. Oh, lucky you. I know. <laughs> Aren't you special? <laughs> we are. I'm just, putting, I'm just typing these in just so I know, so I have something to look at, because I will forget. That's uh, okay. I've the roommate. What the fuck is the roommate? <laughs> what is it? Who? I mean, I'm on Wikipedia, so let me check. To it IMDb. Out. Away. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. The roommate. Let's see. Load faster. Steve the roommate? No, I'm not interested in that. Just give me the fuck movie. Let's see the roommate. Uh, the plot is a college freshman, Saren, is randomly assigned to a dorm with a stranger named Rebecca. They set up as friends, but things turn deadly as Rebecca begins to assess over Sarah's life, including her friends and family. Lovely. Hmm. Let's see, who's in this? Leighton Meester, Minka Kelly, Cam Giganet. Never heard of any of these people. Exactly. Yeah. It's a thriller film. Drama thriller. Yeah. yeah, that's all it says. College student Sarah finds her safety jeopardized after she's assigned. What the hell? Can you hear that? That's the rain here. Wow. Oh, God, shut the window. The window's not even open. That's going to be really distracting. Yep. Oh, my God. Wow. That's normal heavy rain here. That's like normal. That was like Linda Blair from The Exorcist Noises. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sorry, everybody. It's currently raining in the UK. Yes. <laughs> I'll just have in yeah. scary noises yeah. every night. Yeah, I just talk like, your mother. <laughs> <laughs> mother sucks cocks in hell, Karis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Scotland's being possessed by the exorcist. Yeah, that's bad. Like, oh my god. I was walking Sounds back. Sounds like you live in a tent. <laughs> yes. I was like a camp <laughs> camping outside. I know. I know. <laughs> well, she said we. She said she was over the. She over said the, she was over the Bermuda Triangle. She must have crashed. That's the water. <laughs> oh no! There's a gremlin on the wing. <laughs> Can't you see God. it? No. No. Okay. Sorry. Jesus Christ! I'm getting hailstones and. Thanks. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, I think Thor got thunders outside. <laughs> what the hell are we gonna do? Crazy. <laughs> we have this through the night. We had this all last night. Did you sleep? Yeah. I can sleep through anything. Jesus. I fell asleep watching Die Hard one time, so that's I can sleep through anything. Oh my god! Shut up! <laughs> wow. You're fucking It what? sounds like somebody's taking a fire hose and just spraying your house with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Stop it, guys! 
we're, we're, there's no more fire. You, you can go home now. Yeah, yeah, on you go. There might be kitties trees somewhere. Yeah, just carry on. No, no, you can stop. You can stop. We're gonna hear that. That might end up in the recording. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway. This might be this might be interesting. Uh, all right, I, I suppose we should start this. Yeah, I guess we should. <laughs> do it before oh, I God. do it before I am swept away by the the tides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. Like, did you live on the beach? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. See, this is how this is how much I love movies. I've built my house to be like the set of Castaway. There you go. That's that's a good one. Where's Wilson? Do you have him? Is he nearby? Wilson! <laughs> oh my god. I love that movie. <laughs> have, you, have you lost him yet? Wilson! I'm sorry, Wilson! <laughs> it's so good. Ah, oh, dear. Ah. Oh. Uh, it's, I think that's one of the very few movies I actually sat up and watched at like three in the morning. I didn't care what time it was. I was just, I will watch this. I will watch it. I like. I really like that movie. I remember seeing the commercials for that movie where it was just, uh, we live or we die by yeah. that clock. And he gives it a candy bar and then it's like a scene for us. That looks so awesome. Yeah. This is fucking awful. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting experience. See, it, yeah. So, it's, yeah. it's God screwing about with me. I told you my life's like the Truman Show. God's fucking about with me again. He does it every podcast. He either gives me updates on my computer or Pamela crashes, but no, he's decided to pit Mother Nature against me. <laughs> That's life. <laughs> So I suppose we should start this and just start by saying uh, we apologize for the torrential downpours. I'm currently on a raft gripping on for dear life. And I made sure to take the time to shoot a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that I'm that reliable. Thank God. We'd have had no other way to record it otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I suppose we should start. Um, the big one for this time is actually the Oscar nomination and then, uh, Rain. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <funny God. laughs> oh, I swear to god, this is a commercial. This is a <laughs> I gotta put my rig coat on, hold on. <laughs> gotta put my umbrella up. I, I'm, I'm seriously about to destroy a box of Ritz crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stomp on the box. This is pissing me off, this fucking Oscar fucking Ritz cracker bullshit. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I hate Ritz crackers now. <laughs> you have very serious issues. No more Ritz crackers, no more Ritz bits. Fucking cheese it all the way. <laughs> Have a cooking! Serious. So anyway, the Oscar nominations. Because <clears throat> I've never... No, 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 no. Oh, uh, the movie that just came out two weeks ago. Yes. Are we still here? What the hell? Oh, welcome back. It's the damn Bermuda Triangle. It tried to get me again. What can I say? I'm popular in the Triangle. Oh, don't tell me it's frozen again. For fuck's sake. I'm yeah, just... you should check to see if we recorded that whole bit. If... No, we can we can redo that. We can just redo it. No, you did. It was fine. It was fine. Okay. And we're recording That's again. The actress was fine. 
right, so we can move on to actress in a supporting role. Um, we got to, we did, who did we do first? Me, and then you, and then we started off with Mike, and it just went, Bye. So, Mike, I don't think you should talk. <laughs> yeah, I should just uh, stay <laughs> in the background. You took Mike it, picks Natalie Portman. Moving on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, hang on, you guys are stuck again. Oh god, not again. Any second. Wow, Skype's being uh, a bitch tonight. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? It's not me. Hey, hey, don't blame fucking uh, Skype. <laughs> fucking Skype. <laughs> Skype's being a dick. So, did you did you manage to say what it was? Because you uh -huh. lost me. Yeah, Black Swan. Okay. Have you seen the original version? And it's gone again. And Dragon's review? I did, yeah. I did, yeah. I um, didn't really like it. No, I was... Because I'd done the uh, uh, the yeah. cameo in, 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 in Rubber Walrus's Rubber review, um, I thought his was really good. Um, so I might be a little biased. Hmm? No, and I don't even have any bias because I obviously I wasn't in Rubber Walrus's D and D, but I just really didn't like this one. This one that Doug did, I just not one of his best. No, nah, surprisingly. Yeah, I thought I thought he would have really had a lot of places to go with that one because D and D is just one of those movies where you can come up with a lot of different jokes, and he just really didn't. He wasn't on his A game. Must be sick. No. I I thought that um rubber wall. Roll, I kind of see his name. Rubber Walrus. I uh, got a lot of. He got <laughs> he got a lot of the jokes in very yeah. quick, and and I'd heard them all before when watching Doug's review. So it's kind of like I've already heard that one. There was a couple of jokes that made me laugh out loud, but not a lot apart from that. Okay, so um, back to what we were, we were talking about the mechanic, and or for us, well, by the time you hear this, last month. Um. Yep, that was a stab at you, Mike. You better have this one updated quick. <laughs> okay. So. February third. The, the first movie that yeah, February third, which is today, right? Today is February third. Yeah. Right? February fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth. Yeah. <laughs> Should I give? <laughs> right. The, uh... I think we've been going on for an hour and a half now. I think so. Any I think we should. I think we should. I think we should end this. I think. Uh, yeah, and that's the podcast. Oh my god, that was insanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That's something wrong with all of us. Now I yeah. really want to see Russell Black Whiskers. Me too. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> Russell Black. <laughs> Get in contact with Don Bluth. I got a great new idea Stop for a dead. movie. I think he's dead. Well, whoever is in his family. I don't think they make movies. <laughs> <laughs> if they wanted to be a fucking movie, I would want to be involved with it. <laughs> no, he's not just making that without me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I just want the shirt. <laughs> I just want the shirt. Design me the goddamn I'll, I'll write shirt. The, I'll write the goddamn story for it. I can. <laughs> Story about your life. As yeah, my life as a yeah, my life as a fucking woodland space pirate. <laughs> <laughs> the story of my life. As a space pirate. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't know. I'm doing this. I'm I'm recording this podcast from fucking Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to Marvin for me. Yeah, I will. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That was crazy. 
That's going to be interesting to edit. Yeah, Mike won't be able to edit it because he's too busy laughing his ass off at fucking Russell the Blood Whiskers, the Space Pirate, Golden <laughs> Creature by Don Booth. <laughs> Played by Johnny Depp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not in any way affiliated with Pirates of the Caribbean. Not at all. Of course not. He's fucking Russell Black Whiskers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A bit different from Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I thought you would have gone on the spin from Jack Sparrow, like um, Dave Nightingale. He, he doesn't drink. He doesn't drink rum. Russell Black Whiskers doesn't drink rum. He drinks like fucking eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> That's my rum. So the next podcast, you're going to have a whole character background for us on Russell yes. Black Whiskers. I will. I will have a, if anybody has any questions, yeah. If anybody on the forums has any questions for Russell Black Whiskers, <laughs> please ask. I'll answer. <laughs> well, what would his voice be like? Johnny Depp. Yeah. Ah, very funny. That's a silly question. <laughs> uh, I would prefer it. I would prefer it be me. But the question, I, I would rather play Russell Black Whiskers. I'd, I'd be Russell Black Whiskers. <laughs> it came down to that, but the. Un- thing of the question was, if there was an actor who would play you, it would be Johnny Depp. I'm not an actor, but I would play Are you kidding me? <laughs> if it came down to it, I would do Black Whiskers. My fucking character. I get to do it. <laughs> oh, dear. And he would, talk, he would talk exactly like me, just a lower register. That's all. Uh-huh. <laughs> kind of a pirate. Arr. Arr. Yarr. Holy shnikes! Going based off of that, instead of Johnny Depp, if I had him be a pirate, I it would be uh, fucking, um, what's his name? Uh, Jeffrey Rush. Mm-hmm. Because he was awesome as fucking it, as that guy. <laughs> his name I don't <laughs> He was awesome as that dude I saw in that movie that one that dude, time. The bad guy from the first Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> He's played by Jeffrey Rush, that guy. Right now. <laughs> That's going to annoy me now, because I can't remember. It's B. It starts with a B. Yeah. Barnaby? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Barbosa. 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 Thank you. Dang. Barbosa. <laughs> I'd want to have him be played by that crazy, like, bald guy. Like the little, like the two gremlin fucking pirates in those movies. Oh, what are they? Uh huh. The one that has missing eye and like his fat bald friend. Uh huh. Into your air puppet. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was really trippy sounding. Wow. <laughs> I think somebody's just had spot soda. <laughs> Maybe you sampled some... Dr. Weed. I, I, I'm sampling Dr. Weed right now. Got some That's... orange kush right here. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst some, can have? Got some sour diesel here. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm freaking gas. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> gas prices are outrageous. That's why this is 15 bucks a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I... This will be a fun one to listen to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm glad we're still talking because as soon as we're done, I have to go back to watching The Emperor's New School. <laughs> <laughs> this is your break. Yeah. Please. Seriously. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't want to do it. Oh. We can keep on talking. Huh? We can keep on talking forever. Oh, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I can stick around. I've got to go care. in a couple of minutes. Uh, Fuck. Um, what was I going to say? What is it? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, my house. <laughs> I need. I need to find a movie to review during July because I'm going to be in the house for a week by myself. I'm Independence gonna... Day. No, that's been done. No one to review. So what? I don't want to do it. I love it. Remember our first episode? <laughs> yes. Done. Yeah, that's why the fifth element's being done. 
Um, no, a, a big, big, big summer blockbuster that was terrible. Independence Day! No! <laughs> Transformers? Possibly. I, I, still to see that, actually. Never seen the Transformer movies. Um, I kind of want the fourth kind. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to review the fourth kind. I kind of, I'm kind of thinking I Am Legend, because I'm not sure whether I liked it really or not. I liked it with the dog. Oh. <laughs> every time I don't like the dog. Guys. That pisses me off when they kill off the animal. Yeah. Every time we had this moment, I was like, "Why are you killing the dog?" I know. Every time we in the house, you go, "Oh, Sam." <laughs> It's like the same thing. Have you guys seen Paranormal Activity 2? Not yet. Well, it's kind of the same thing. They have a dog, and like, if you've known horror movies ever in your life, you know they're doing something to the dog. They don't kill the dog, do they? No, I think they put it in like a coma or something. Ooh. Well, they injure it. It gets injured, because if it had died, I'd have been pissed. No, it's like, no old yellow crap! I'd have been like, fuck this movie. <laughs> this movie went from okay to fucking shit because they killed the dog. <laughs> that would have been me. Uh, that would have made me the worst critic ever because I'd have been I'd have been reviewing Paranormal Activity too, and I'd be just like, yeah, this movie was all right, had some good scares, interesting story, but it killed the dog, so it's absolute rubbish shit. So <laughs> don't see it. No, the the reason I say is because my my parents are going on a cruise like first week of July and I'll have a week in the house no no it's, I'll have the house to myself for an entire week so I'm gonna try and do a review in a week see if I can do it there be won't be any won't be anybody here to distract me what about even... you Mike when are you gonna do something uh, whenever I have time because... <laughs> okay <laughs> Thank you and good night. <laughs> yeah, uh, expect to see episode two of Scooter Presents, July 2013. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Did you did you see my sneak peek of my intros? Yes, I did. Oh, you know when your next? I know when your next review is coming out. It's gonna come out December 20th, 2012, the day before everybody fucking dies. <laughs> when your review will come out. Oh, uh, that's not when everybody dies. It's 2052 now. They got it wrong. Oh, no, 2062. Oh, they haven't even, they haven't even gotten past 2012 and they're already changing the date. Yeah, did you not hear <laughs> at, least the Y2K, at least the Y2K people at least waited until January 1st, 2000. They waited until <laughs> January 2nd before they said, you know what, maybe we were wrong. <laughs> Did you not hear that the, um, it was some experts that had uh, gone over Mayan predictions and things and then just said, oh, they were they were 50 years out of date, so it's going to be 2062 that the world ends? You know what? The Mayans were fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they, didn't predict, they didn't predict the end of their fucking world, did they? No. Because <laughs> if they were smart, they would have ended the calendar when they were going to disappear. Okay. <laughs> No, and I don't remember seeing any Mayan exhibit that said January, February, March, April. No. <laughs> it was it's all freaking astronomers going, oh, they called this month Umbutu, and this is Hors Laloi. <laughs> That's when the world's ending. It's ending Hors Laloi 21st <laughs> of the year Baba Jububi. And <laughs> no, we we. 21st Baba Jububi. Movie somehow translates to December twenty first, twenty twelve. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure it does. No, you know the world's coming to an end when a, a new Polly Shore movie comes out. If there one will never comes ever out. be another Polly Shore movie. But if if one comes I, out, that's I, the end of the I world. Think I think everybody's finally given up on Polly Shore as just being a complete anus. So uh, <laughs> I don't think that we'll ever see a Polly Shore movie. No, but if there is one, we you know that's the end of the world. I'll cry. Yeah. <laughs> of all the people who don't need careers... Buddy, 
what you doing, buddy? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, I just remember that. I just remember that review of Biodome where, like, you don't understand. The book fell on him. You can, he fell on the book. They collided, and then they go, bullshit. <laughs> 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 and then it cuts back to Doug Bolger. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I gotta pee, so I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Thanks for telling us. <laughs> Thanks to all you people who have had the willpower to continue to listen to this. Oh yeah. My <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> Actually, of I'm... my life. Alrighty, well, I'll see you guys later then. Yeah. Okie dokie.